to our encouragement, under the guidance of our leaders, and with joint efforts, the China-U.S. relationship has seen some positive signs of stabilizing. Progress has been made in enhancing dialogue and cooperation. In particular, the two sides have agreed to return to the Bali agenda and implement the important common understandings reached between President Xi Jinping and President Biden. I believe all of you have followed closely the series of high-level exchanges between our two countries. The follow-up consultations, including the Asia-Pacific affairs, are being rolled out. The two sides have established economic and financial working groups. Our commerce authorities have launched new channels of communication involving the business community and export control information exchange mechanisms. Direct flights between our two countries will grow to 48 every week. China has resumed group tours to the United States. But before the pandemic, three million Chinese tourists visited the United States annually, contributed more than 30 billion US dollars to the US economy. Subnational and parliamentary exchanges will also be coming back. The Cleveland Museum of Art is now showcasing treasures from China's lower Yangtze Delta. The Philadelphia Orchestra just held a performance to commemorate the 50th anniversary of its first visit to China. And the Chinese dance drama Mulan is touring the United States. All these have not come easy and must be all the more cherished. Of course, we still face serious difficulties and brave challenges in the uh, bilateral relationship. And there is still a long way to go to stabilize and improve our relations. The key is to find the right way for China and the United States to get along in the new era. The three principles outlined by President Xi Jinping, namely mutual respect, peaceful coexistence, and win-win cooperation, have pointed us in the right direction. Mutual respect is the uh, prerequisite for our interactions. China does not interfere in US domestic affairs and does not bet against the United States. In the same way, we hope the United States will also respect our sovereignty and territorial integrity, properly handle important sensitive issues such as the Taiwan question in line with the principles of the three joint communiques and respect the Chinese people's choice of development path and political system and the right to a better life. Peaceful coexistence is the red line we must keep to. Any war, cold or hot, trade or technological, should be avoided. Sanctions on Chinese entities and individuals should be stopped. Win-win cooperation is the goal we should aim at. Let's both take positive actions from now, starting with concrete, small steps that will benefit our peoples and help bring our relationship back to the right track. All in all, we hope the United States will work with us in the same direction, clear obstacles and manage differences with concrete actions and enhance dialogue and expand cooperation in good faith so as to stabilize and improve our relations. <laughs>